I think there's a lot of things to do. There's a lot of actions that need to happen. I think that's one at least, you know, that we keep talking about it. That we, because so many things have happened. Um, it, I mean, my experience is mostly in the United States. You know, but so many things have happened that have been wrong, that have not been right, and it's been def very, very easy to not say anything about those things. But it's really important to just talk about it all the time. I don't know. There's lots of other things to like our job is also to empower, to remind people that you have power. It's a lie that, that you don't. 
there are a lot of people I think right now taking that risk, that risk to break out of this some kind of structure that has been normal for a long time. And as you said, the world is getting more and more connected and the technologies have caused that. Like I think of my family in Ecuador growing up in Ecuador too, before cable TV. Do you know, there was just music on the radio so people would like learn lyrics in English from the music. There was always a desire, I think, for people to come together. But now, then there was cable TV. HBO or whatever. So then my family in Ecuador, this is my experience, could see like what North what America what North America was like. Now there's the internet. And we're like together now. It's like all the cultures are together in a way that has never been possible. So I think that as we I've seen in Egypt, you know, like Facebook revolution started a revolution. Or there was an instant you just don't know where these changes are coming from now because there's a lot more accessibility than there used to be. So that lie of like power belongs to five people is crack is just cracking. So are we fanning the flame? <laughs> We're like, I'm ready for that to be destroyed. Whatever has been normal for a long time. That's a tricky question. <laughs> Uh, it does have this, um, you know, relationship. It is a place, music gatherings attract people who want to be free. People have equated drugs as a way of getting free. And then here's this music that creates this beautiful rhythm for their freedom to express itself. You know, drugs are things that people use to take them out of their body. Actually, music puts you so deeply in your body, the relationship is a little bit off, you know? But I think when you start to feel really well, start to feel really healthy and good, the drugs can kind of, they seep out, you don't need them anymore, and then you have this beautiful vibration that's still going on. Music, it's been going on forever. You know, there's this very clear way that they have been used and are used to keep people quiet, create a false idea of normalcy, and also oppress people, kill people, generate huge amounts of income for, you know, people who have wealth. Because I mean, I've, I've had personally, you know, beneficial healing effects from prescription medication, but I did have that experience outside of the United States. I had that experience in another country where those things are regulated in a very different way. Um, a lot of the way that used, seems to me to be, you know, about creating a, a, a state of normalcy, which like I think as was coming up, you know, takes people out of their bodies. And I think it's very political to be in your body. It's a very strong revolutionary act to be in your body, be feeling the things that you're feeling. And I also understand why most people wouldn't want to be in their bodies right now, because it feels very bad to be oppressed, you know, and especially if you're a homeless person, you know, if you're um, a person whose rights are violated on a daily basis, you know, like a person of color, a transgender person, a person whose human rights are violated every day just by walking out on the street. I, I you know, I can understand why you want to get out, get out of that. I want to talk to the kids though that are doing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say I love you guys. <laughs> if you're doing drugs, enjoy them. Yes, totally. Be careful. And uh, I definitely have had a a path with drugs that was really great and then it was really terrible. So, you know, that happens to some people. And it's a very, I think it's a very beautiful and innocent thing to reach towards something that you feel is gonna put you in your body or put you out of your body, whatever it is, like an extraordinary experience. But I wanna say from my experience that, um, to all you kids out there, that, um, that you have, the, you have it in you to get to this transcendent place. So there's so many different ways to, psych to the psychedelic state, you know. Um, I have nothing but love for them for doing what they like to do. And, you know, they get to travel all around the world. Perhaps a lot of the stuff is not my favorite things to listen to or to do, but so what? Who cares? I mean, I don't really care for death metal, but in Sweden, it's the religion. So, yeah. you know, like, who cares what I think? <laughs> you know, and that's the beauty about being, you know, for life. Is 
that we all can like and not like. But, but this is for myself, but there's a lot of great groups that have come up to yeah. like Puerto Canada. Yeah, there's a bunch. Of, there's Sistema Solar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, 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 there's tons of. La 33. Bambarabanda from the south. And it's just like it's, it's tons of, of expressions, beautiful expressions. are old, I haven't had a new tattoo in 12 years, but um, though I know what I want next. There, for me, this is my body temple, and all temples are adorned in the most beautiful art. Stained glass windows and reliefs and everything beautiful. I say if you're going to get a tattoo, it should really be something symbolic that represents something in your life that's important that you need. Um, this is Rainbow Serpent. This is this evolutionary process of this beautiful animal, dragonfly seeding these flowers into full blossom. So as it travels, it drops seeds, it travels and we grow and this will express more seeds and continue on the process of life. Like, I guess, clearly, I don't have an association with the being on the floor as being lowly. To me, it's, it feels like natural, I guess. Um, but I like the idea that words that have these uh, associations for so long could mean different things to me, especially when it comes to power. For me, I think it's, it's, it's always been important that things like that are in flux and that I'm in a constant process of learning about that, you know, that, that I have my experiences and that I continue to develop the way that I frame them. Um, and I think I've believed a lot of different things at a lot of different times because, in a sense, I want to know how it works, you know, I want to understand how it works so I can control it. That's not really what life is about for me you know, today. It's not about controlling my destiny so that it happens. But I do believe that I have some control. So I think what I personally believe today is that, and this is just what I believe, it's not what I think anybody else should believe. It's just the frame that makes sense for me now from my experience. That I have a path in this life. And that it's my choice to live that path to the fullest, or to the least. There's work and service that I was born to do, and that you know, what, what I would think of as my spiritual work is to find that and embrace it and to do it. One that comes to mind for me right off the bat is Freestylers, okay. because I, we met Rafa here the last time we played. We were at Emmett Roy. Yes. And um, I think they're making such great music. Oh my god. I was just listening to Cambodian music uh, okay. growing up, so I don't know who they were, but I listened to this music because it talk about transcending. You know, it sounds like birds and whistles and the tone of the voice. There's no drums in this music, and it's just really high up here, somewhere in the the energy of the body, and it's good for me. It warms up my body with men. I don't even have to. So many good bands everywhere. I think the important thing is to just go out, especially now, when people have the internet, to just go like Google or whatever search engine, any word that you can think of and attach it to music. Listen to my name is one album, <laughs> Look, it just through. 